Welcome back, one and all. <clears throat> Last time, we defeated level 4. Finally. And Rogue wasted a potion. And then he cried sadly, deeply, into his beer. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. This is not my first attempt at recording this video. No. No, OBS randomly decided... I'm not gonna capture the audio for the game. So... This is like take three? Yeah. Take three, basically. But we now have the raft. So we can go get a heart container. And after that, we can go get the magical sword. Just gotta go around our doors of Lake Hyla here. And Rogue has to somehow fail at playing this game. Even though he literally just played it for like two hours. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh my. We also need to go see the medicine lady. So that we can pick up a potion. Which we can actually do right here. I don't, I don't remember if I showed this off before. But since we have a blue potion, buying a second blue potion gives us a red potion. Alright, magic sword. You can kill the pea hats, you just have to wait until they stop moving. Just gotta get past these Lynels. And of course, the Falling Rocks from Death Mountain. And we can go get our ultimate weapon. It's ours. The Magical Sword. Now, in level four, there's an old guy that lives in the dungeon that we didn't go see that tells you about the heart container spot that's over here if you follow the arrow
We don't need to worry about that, though. There's a shop right in that wall there. Ugh, stupid pea hats, get out of my way. I'm trying to think if there's anything worthwhile in that shop. Inexpensive magic shield. Head over here to level 5. Get on with our lives. Stupid Zora. I didn't ask you. I don't need that. So I'm not gonna waste time with it. <sighs> like likes and traps. Nope. I learned my lesson from my time in level six. You leave me alone. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, you want to try and unlock the door before? Shoot. Before, um... Ugh. I hope you like hearing Link take damage, viewers. Because in these rooms with the red and blue bubbles, you're going to hear it a lot. Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Move this block right there and you can lock yourself in. You too can be a silly rogue. Let's try this again. Goma? We can't defeat Goma! Oh my goodness, can I stop walking into the fireball things that Goma is spitting? Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Well, now we can defeat Goma. Because we got the bow. No bombs, though. Still no bombs. Uh. And your magic shield does nothing against these fireballs that Goma spits out. Come on. I'm gonna poke you in the eye with a stick. Yeah, like that.
Okay. Now we can go back the way we came. Nope, 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 nope. Ugh. Leave me alone, leave me alone. There is a room in the bottom left. Oh. Forget it, I'll show you. And if the bubble position isn't favorable for this, just, you know, leave the room and come back. But, you can get a key in here. It's just a big open room. Nope, leave me alone. And make sure when you walk into this room, that you're holding up as you go in, because otherwise you'll get, um, stuck by the traps. These Voros, I don't think, actually have anything for us. I was mistaken. They have the map! Quick. Ugh. Now I have to get hit by the blue bubble. No, not the blue whiz robe. The blue bubble. Oh my goodness. I hate bubbles. I hate bubbles so much. Almost as much as I hate dark nuts and whiz ropes. Oh. Forget this. I'm not fighting this guy. I cannot think of a good way to get past the traps there. Oh my goodness. Rogue, you can stop fail training this anytime now. Another note. Have you noticed that the first five dungeons seem to spell out a word? Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. The enemies get stuck. Let's see... Uh, we have a few bombs. I don't want to waste them. But we're gonna try and use a bomb to defeat this guy. This guy. I don't remember what his name is. But if you could do it just right, you could just blow him up with one bomb. It's pretty nice. Nice, I hit the boss keys.
excellent. I am just getting real lucky with uh, trashing the enemies here. And the key to this boss, as usual, is just spam him with your sword. Much easier if you have the magic sword. And that's level 5. So yeah, the first five dungeons spell out the name Zelda. Which I think is pretty cool. Now, I want to have plenty of bombs before I go to level 6. Oh no, it's level 7 that I need tons of bombs for, I think. But I do need rupees. And I need a potion. Level 6 is in the graveyard, if you'll recall. One of the faster ways to get there is to go through the forest maze over here. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, that was bull. <laughs> And it does behoove you to just take out these moblins. It'll make your life a little bit easier. North. West. South. And west. Leave that line all alone because I don't care. All right, now I want revenge. I got my revenge. And then, in order to open level six, we use the flute. Now we've already explored uh, most of this first part of the dungeon. And I'm not going to fight any whiz robes that I don't have to fight. Which apparently is none of them because I'm a silly rogue and I forgot to light up the room and I forgot that I had my bombs equipped. Alright dude, if you're just going to spaz out right there, I can take you on. Right. Try to keep the like likes off of you. Okay. Now you can bomb north here. I don't know how I got so lucky with all the stone throwers. Or how I got lucky killing those that orange whiz robe. Oh come on, Link. Whew. We could bomb north again here, but that just takes us to a room that doesn't really go anywhere.
So we want to take out the like likes in here. And that gives us the map. Same map. All right. Um, over here, there is a secret room with an old guy that has a secret for us. That just lets us know the um, way to get to level 8. And then up here, you want to trip these traps and then rub your face on that wall as fast as you can. Because that will let you... Oh, no. Blue bubble. Potion? Potion. I hate that sound effect. <clears throat> Poor time to take a sip of your coffee, rogue. Nonsense. Actually, we need to go back in that room. Nope. I want to try and get it like it was before, where the configuration was all four of the bubbles on the left side. Or the blue bubble on the right. I don't, I don't mind if the blue bubble's over there. That works. Because we want to go into here so that we can go, go into this room and pick up the compass. Now, if you want to go into the room that's over here, there is a uh, way through the wall over here. And that actually is the way we need to go. Because we need to go through that staircase. The room to the north is full of whiz robes. Um, and there's a key in there, but you can't get to it. The room to the northwest... I did not mean to waste that bomb. Is full of whiz robes that will give you a bomb. Pick up. So if you need the bombs, go get the bombs. If you don't need the bombs, just, uh, keep on moving. We ha in here, we have to defeat another multi-headed dragon dude. Alright. We get some rupees for our trouble. This next room is very challenging. And it's not challenging because there's a lot of enemies in it. I mean, it's challenging because there's enemies in it. But it's the fact that they're all red bubbles. And you have to somehow manage to navigate through this room without getting hit. And get to that staircase. Because if you don't, you have to go back to the room you were in with the red with the blue bubbles. Through this staircase. So that you can get your sword back. I'm not annoyed. Okay, I'm annoyed. Because on the other side of that other staircase is the boss. I don't care how many times these things hit me. It's not like they do any heart damage. So, whatever. I just... I hate the red bubbles. Fortunately, we don't have to defeat this boss again. We just have to somehow make it through this room. 
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I did it. Yes. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's very annoying. Uh, this guy? I wouldn't waste my time with. No bother. Now we have to defeat Goma again. Come on, Goma. Remember that except for Goma's fireballs, you can block the other ones with your shield? And then that's it for level six. Another piece of Triforce gotten. But where's level seven? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Second Quest. I'm the Arcane Rogue. And if you want to keep in touch, check out the link in the description for my Discord. Just throwing that out there for you. Anyway, until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.